Hello my little pumpkin pies and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Brie and I am just a crazy lover of makeup, fashion and all that fun glittery stuff. So if those are things that you are also into, please hit that subscribe button and join this little family. I would love to have you here. But in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the newest makeup releases and giving you guys my thoughts on it, whether I want to pick it up, whether I don't want to pick it up and just, you know, overall my thoughts on the releases. So if you are interested in seeing all of that then keep on watching all right hello my little pumpkins i'm obviously in the fall mood like dramatic smoky eye i even put on some falsies which took me like a straight hour to put these on and I still think that they look kind of funny but I'm trying to learn so I can figure out how to put on falsies if I want to wear them every now and then and have like a little bit more of a dramatic look but tell me how I did I think it looks okay <laughs> I'm trying here also if you're curious on what's on my face I am wearing the YSL uh new bare look skin tint I did do a video and a wear test but it didn't attraction so maybe this is not something people are interested in maybe YSL is not a brand that people are seeking I don't know but I didn't get a lot of views on that but if you do want to check that video out and you're curious and how it did on my oily skin I'll put it in the description below and up in the corner and I think that's it let me get some coffee like guys look hello pumpkin I'm totally in the fall mood mm. I don't know what it is and I'm usually a summer girl but lately I've just been getting so into the like the little pumpkins and the decorations that they have in all the grocery stores and I bought some random pumpkins random candles and I'm just ready to get warm and cozy and I don't know I'm just I'm just ready for fall I guess like the hundred degree weather might be getting to me it's a little hot here in Texas and it will be a while before it cools down and I am looking forward to that but anyways, I think we should get into the makeup releases. I just want to give you a disclaimer. Now, if you don't have the same opinion on me or you love something that I don't or you hate something that I love, that is okay. We can agree to disagree. Just do not get offended by my opinions because we all have makeup aesthetics and different things that we like and that we don't like. So I just wanted to put that out there. So I screenshot a bunch of things that I thought was interesting to talk about. So I first want to go into the newest collection from Kaleidos. Yes, it's available now and I did pick this up. Already purchased, already put it in the cart, hit submit, and hopefully it's on the way very soon to me. But they're coming out with the Apple collection, or I'm sorry, they already came out with it. But it is an extension to their cloud lip clays. They had eight before that came out in the previous collection, the Flower Punk collection. And they expanded the range and now it's the Apple collection. And the cool thing is now you can buy the lip products individually. When they first released it, you weren't able to. You have to buy it in like a set of four. But now you can get them individually. So I think that's awesome that they took the feedback from customers who were like, I don't want all the shades. I just want one. So I'm happy that they did that. And let's see. So there's two sets that you can pick up with four in it. It looks like there's one that has some nudie shades with a little bit of red and a mauvey purpley shade. And then the other one has like deeper vampier shades, perfect for the fall time perfect with what I have on my lips. I'm actually wearing one of the Cloud, it's the Cloud Lab Lip Clay in Dahlia from the previous collection. It's just like a very deep red. So I'm very excited about that. There's also an Apple Lip Mask. Ooh, and if you get like the whole new release, you can get a little fan with it and like a little Apple statue. So the full collection is 89. Each lip set, I think, is 35 each, and then each one is 12 bucks if you want to buy them individually. I can't wait to get that in the mail. I will definitely do a video where I do lip swatches with this, and I'll probably include lip swatches with the other sets too, in case you're curious. That will be coming as soon as I get it in the <laughs> mail. And yeah, so let's keep going. I wanted to talk about milk makeup. So. They're coming out, or no, it's actually available already, the Bionic Liquid Blush. And it looks like there's five shades in the range. 
and I think this is already available. Yes, it is. They're $20 each. It says you can blend it, share, or layer it for more intense payoff. It's infused with hyaluronic acid and mushroom for a hydrating flush of color. <sighs> and there's a bunch of like skincare ingredients in it. So the thing with this, when I look at the models, like showing the different blushes on them, it looks like the formula might be sticky, might be like tacky and not dry down. It's supposed to be like a glossy effect and that is not what I like in liquid blushes. I like mine to dry down to a powder finish because of my skin type. Those kind of blushes just like separate on me or get really greasy throughout the day. So I don't think I want something sticky. Even the swatches look sticky and shiny. So I don't think this is something for me. And something with Melt Cosmetics, they just, they don't really excite me as a brand. I feel like they're all over the place. I can't really grasp what their brand is about. Um... I don't know, they're always trying like this weird packaging and doing all this different stuff and they just never really appeal to me. They are also coming out with a new eye primer and this is an extension to their Hydro Grip family. So that face primer, the Hydro Grip face primer, which is very popular, it's one of those primers that make your skin really like tacky and sticky so the foundation can just grip to it. Now I don't know if I would want that in a primer formula on my eyes because so I feel like primers that are super tacky and sticky will make your shadow just cling to that section and not be able to like blend out and I, I, I just don't think I want something like that on my eyes. Now I might be wrong but if it's going to be part of like the gripping family I'm assuming it's going to be one of those sticky formulas. Oh, sorry guys I forgot to move over so you guys can see the photos better but I'm gonna pass on that. I don't, I don't know. I'll have to watch people's reviews on it, but I have so many eye primers right now in my collection. I don't think I need any more. Um, but yeah, you'll have to let me know. Did you pick that up? What you think? Are you excited? I'm just, I don't know why. Milk just doesn't really do it for me. I don't think I've ever tried anything from them actually. Yeah, I still have not tried that brand. Now going on to ColourPop, you know, they're always releasing something new. This is the Fresh Kiss Lip Creams. So this is supposed to be a moisturizing liquid lipstick that delivers comfortable color with a creamy matte finish for ultra smooth kissable lips. So this sounds like a formula that I'm interested in. I like a more comfort matte when it comes to liquid lipsticks. I prefer just like a more creamy texture. I don't like the ones that dry down completely because they just make my lips look so crusty. So I am very interested in this. They're $8 each. It looks like it has a good shade range. But I'll have to wait on this because I don't want to just go to ColourPop and buy like one lip product. I used to like to wait until there's like multiple items that I want to get from them. So I'll have to hold off for now. But it does sound intriguing. That definitely sounds like a formula that I would like to try. And then Fenty. Fenty came out with a new eyeshadow palette. And it's one of those ones that can clip to another palette. What is this called? The Balm? Posse Mega Mix and Match Eyeshadow Palette. So there's 12 shades in it. All of this stuff is available now. And it was inspired by their most popular shades in their lip products, Fenty Glow, Fussy, and Hot Chocolate. So it's a neutral palette with some pinky, like, mauve tones in it. Not something that excites me. But the thing with Fenty is I haven't had the best experience with their eyeshadow formula. I tried the, I think it was called, like, the Moroccan Spice Palette. And it was just very unimpressive. The mattes were super sheer, not very buildable. The shimmers were okay. And I don't know, I just was, it was a meh palette for me. So I don't know if I want to try another eyeshadow palette from them. I'll have to see reviews to see if they've improved their shadow formula. But even with their like mini ones, people said the same thing about the formula. So I don't know, I'm just shocked because Fenty is such a good brand. They have so many amazing products. So maybe one day their eyeshadow formula will change. At least in my opinion, they're not very good. Then there's also a face palette that can clip to the eyeshadow palette. It's called the Diamond Bomb Triple Drip All Over Diamond Veil Palette. And I am very interested in this product. I love their Gloss Bomb highlighters, like the Diamond Veil ones. I love the How Many Carrots one. Oh, it's like a holy grail highlighter. It's a jelly powder formula that's 
cool to the touch, melts into the skin, and delivers a 3D glittering veil of pure sparkle for the face. And it's so true. It doesn't really have like a base to it. It just leaves these little shimmers on the cheeks. It's so beautiful and like ethereal looking. So I think I'm going to end up picking up that palette. I definitely will. I probably will wait until the VIB like sell event to get it because those shades look gorgeous. Ooh, that looks so pretty. I just want to touch it. It looks so nice. And then they're coming out with another liner in brown. And then their popular shades are coming out with a, another formula. They're like plumping formula. So cute. A cute little pinky nude collection. Um, yeah, I guess the palette, the face palette is the only thing that I'm interested in getting. And then One Size Beauty is coming out with a setting spray. Well, two setting sprays. I think, when does this become available? It will be available September 10th, which is today. What am I talking about? It's available today. And uh, the spray is $30 each. There's a mattifying waterproof setting spray and a luminous setting spray. So setting spray is not a essential step in my makeup routine. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't, but I probably don't use setting spray more than I use it. So I don't think I would pick this up, especially for $30. I'd rather just buy a drugstore version. I don't think I need something like that. But if you're interested, maybe you want a luminous one or a mattifying one. I mean, the mattifying one is a little intriguing, but I would rather just stick to like the all nighter, the tried and true. So I don't think I'm gonna pick that up, but I have been testing out their concealer, which I have on today. I used it in a video and I'm liking the concealer a lot. I think the brown overall appeals to me, but that doesn't. So what else? Okay, this is not a like makeup product, but Light Slacker came out with a cute little collection. It was available yesterday, it was made available. So it's the Who Did It collection in Autumn Mystery. I love that like Who Did It vibe from this and like, like murder mystery thing. Love that. Oh my gosh, that's such cute. Like that PR box is amazing. I love the vibe, I love it. Now the shades in there, I don't know. I don't know about those. I like the deep green one, the berry looking one, maybe the red one. But I'm not sure about like the pink and that like warm brownie shade. I don't know. I don't think I would pick this up. It says they're $9.50 each or you can get them like in a set. I don't know what the set price is. I'm going to pass for now. I did try their formula when they were KL polish and I really did like the formula. Maybe like Black Friday. Maybe if they have a sale, I'll pick up some shades to try out the lights lack around see if it's any different. But that's a cute little release. Going on, let's see, Lime Crime. That's another brand that just doesn't stand out to me that I'm just like, eh, I could pass on this. So they're coming out with the Bushy Brow Pomade Pencil. It's available now, actually. And it's supposed to be a pencil that gives extra volume and texture, a two-in-one brush, and pencil stick to easily create definition and thickness. Long lasting formula, smudge free, vegan, and cruelty free. So uh, they have some interesting colors. They have like, it looks like they have like a purple one, a red one, a teal one. So if you have like colored hair, they gave you an option for your brow. So I think that's cool. Um, but I don't think I'm in the market for a new brow pencil. And something about Lime Prime just doesn't do it for me. And the one eyeshadow palette that I have tried from them, I do not like at all. <laughs> And I think I need to finally declutter it. I kept holding on to it because I love the color story, but the formula is just not good. Um, but they're $18 each, so if you're looking for a brow pencil, maybe check it out. Maybe it's, it's something I should, but right now I'm not going to get that. What else do I want to mention? Oh, Too Faced. They sneak peeked their launch for spring 2022. What month are we in? What year are we in? It's like September 2021. Why are you showing me something for spring 2022? Like, why? Why do they feel it was necessary to sneak peek this? Dang, they need to chill for real. But there's a Better Than Sex Mascara with special packaging. I don't know why that's even a thing, but they do it every time. Like how many different designs do they have to put on the Better Than Sex Mascara? I don't really like that mascara. 
and people don't really hold on to components like that for displaying like do they you see you throw away your mascara so i don't see the point of having special decoration on it i mean especially when it's usually just in a purse or a bag or a drawer like who's displaying their mascara there's probably someone out there that does but i don't get it and then the palette the packaging on the outer side looks beautiful with the butterflies but then when you look at it inside you're like why is there just so many blah shades in there there's a few pastels and then the rest are like neutrals pinky tones warm tones there's a large pan with a brown shade and a large pan with a beige shade why was that necessary why do they always do that in their palettes i don't get it it's such a basic af spring palette and i know that their brand caters to people who like more natural makeup but they just do the same thing constantly like all their palettes always look the same they're constantly duping themselves so that is not something i'm interested in <laughs> I just don't know why they released it already. I don't get it. So yeah, let's just move on from that. So it looks like Jennifer Anderson came out with a beauty brand called Lola V. I like the name. And her first product that's available now is the Glossing Detangler. I could use a detangler in my life. I could use glossing on my hair stat um but this is a multitasking lightweight spray that helps detangle prime with vegan thermal shield it has this shine with lemon extract oh i'm intrigued and it's only 25 dollars, which is not bad so this is 99 percent naturally derived vegan cruelty free color safe no silicones or sulfates i'm intrigued but i don't think i would go to a brand specifically just to get a detangler spray but i think that's cool can't wait to see what else she releases. I'm intrigued. I, I like Jennifer Anderson. There's also another beauty brand by Miss Nikki Tutorials. Okay. So this is the Nemia brand. I think that's how you pronounce it. But it's a skincare release. I'm surprised. I would have thought she released makeup. Um, but there's a color eye stick for $22. So it's like there's a Wear it all starts cream. It's a moisturizer primer hybrid, $30. So it's like in the mid-range section. A license to glow serum, a set it to forget it setting spray that's mattifying, and a blow before you go fan. That's cute, that little fan. So this is available September 23rd. Intriguing. I'm not in the market for skincare right now. I have a bunch of skincare. I don't really need to buy another product. But I'm curious to see what people say about it. I think it's cool. I would have expected like an eyeshadow palette or something. But maybe she's like really about like her base. is like, you know, the foundation to the amazing makeup. That's cool. And then Hip Dop. Yeah, Hip Dop is doing another weird collaboration. They do the weirdest collaborations. I don't get it. I don't know how they decide this or... Like, where they get their inspiration. Like, do they just call random people and be like, hey, do you want to do a collab? Hey, do you want to do a collab? I don't know what they're doing, but it's strange. <laughs> but they're coming out with three palettes. It's the Hip Dot Times Game Night collection. I guess with Hasbro. Okay. So there's a Monopoly Money Moves palette for $30. A Play-Doh Super Color palette for $26. And a Ouija Board palette for $26. Or you can buy the full collection for $74 and it goes live today. So, so many of these stand out to you. I don't think I'll pick up any of them. I think the Ouija board one has the most appealing color story to me, but I don't want anything Ouija inspired. I don't need that in my life. I don't need that kind of energy in my house. And then the Play-Doh one looks like kids makeup and the Monopoly one, there's just so much empty space. I get that they're trying to make it look like the game, and it looks like kind of a like rainbow vibe palette. It's not for me. They just never stick out to me, their collaborations. They're just strange, honestly. So what else can we talk about? Okay, some holiday releases. So of course, Hourglass is coming out with their usual face palettes. It's the Ambulant Lighting Edit Universe and Universe Unlocked. It looks like there's two options. So maybe there's one maybe for a deeper skin tone i don't know they're they're a brand that doesn't really do well when it comes to catering to different skin tones and that's pretty much why i've kind of held off from the brand 
but it looks like they made a deeper version and a lighter version but still i feel like they could have benefited from having one more option that goes even deeper like it just doesn't look like it would be deep enough for a very deep skin tones like the like there's deeper blushes but the bronzer doesn't look that dark and it looks like in the lighter one there's a new bronzer coming out a new shade um if you have one of the edit palettes from any of their holiday releases you have them all you don't really need this then they're coming out with like a three pan one and it looks like for medium deep to deep skin tones three new shades so okay they're making one palette for deeper skin tones which okay i guess they're trying took them long enough um it says it's supposed to work only from medium deep to deep skin tones would have to see if it actually does that but you know i give them a pat on the shoulder for for giving it a try but i still feel like they could do more but that is available september 20th gonna pass don't need that um and then <laughs> physician's formula let's go on about physician's formula what is this the butter buddies the butter buddies who named the collection that and then the packaging it looks like kitty like baby makeup makeup for babies like this looks like a toy for a baby <laughs> when i look at it i don't think i want baby looking makeup but it's six press powders it's the butternut highlighter bitter butter illuminating pow who would want bitter butter <laughs> A Miss Butterfly blush, a baby butter banana powder, a baby puff, but no butter puff, bronzer, and a butterscotch mattifying powder. Now, with the bronzer and the blush, and even the powder, it's like so light. This would only work for a light skin tone. So I wish like they're coming out with a new collection that they would also have different shades. Like, I don't get it when these collections come out for brands and they only release shades that can only work on a certain skin tone. So, I wish they would have done more with that, but I don't want this. I don't want any makeup looking like this. Their packaging is just atrocious. Like, I don't know who is designing their packaging, but it's bulky, it's funny looking. Like, the ones that they came out before that that has, like, little donuts and stuff on it and coffee no no they need to get a new design team for real they really do um but no no i think it's the packaging alone that i don't like and that there's not enough shade ranges well let's move on from that okay sigma yes yeah, sigma is coming through it's the sigma time cinderella okay this looks cute the palette looks beautiful Looks like there's muted shades in it, some depth, some jewel tone, perfect fall color story from what I can see in the pictures. And Sigma has a really good eyeshadow formula, so I'm very intrigued. I will probably pick this up when it becomes available. It comes out September 23rd. Yes, I will be on that website hit and purchase so quick. There's also a blush duel and some brushes and some lip glosses. It doesn't say the prices or anything from what I can see here, but that looks so beautiful. I want that palette. I'm getting that palette, damn it. I will definitely do a video about it. And am I missing anything I wanted to mention? Oh, we got a bougie one. So this is from Armani Beauty. This is a, uh, I think, eyeshadow and highlighter cheek palette thing. It has beautiful embossing in it like it looks gorgeous when I look at it I'm like that's pretty I thought it was like one of those like highlighter blush duels but it says it's also eyeshadows and when I look at the swatches they look so lackluster and they don't look like shades that would work on a deep skin tone um like they show swatches and they have like someone that looks tan but it looks so muted and just ashy like no no but i feel like luxury brands don't do very well catering to all skin tones which is shocking because you would think they'd have the money and they could afford to expand the shade range and just the swatches look terrible and 117 dollars is not a price i'm willing to pay for something like this yes it looks pretty but 
I don't need that. It's called the Kill the Eyes to Kill Eccentrical palette. Yeah, no, that's a no for me, bro. <laughs> I'm fasting on that. Okay, so I also wanted to mention Alien Cosmetics. I love them. I just discovered them this year. Eyeshadow formula is impeccable. The Not Normal palette, I love it. I did a video on it as well as the, um, what was the other palette that I tried from them? Oh, the Strawberry Milkshake. Love them both. So they're doing a collaboration with Cindy Nicole Adams and it's a like Halloween themed palette. It's called Hauntingly Glamorous. And I love the color story. There's so many deep colorful mattes in here. Looks like there's two shimmers and maybe one matte that might have a shimmer or it might be a shimmer too. I can't really tell by the swatches, but it is available now. It's $40. It's available for pre-order. Already purchased, already threw it in the cart, hit submit. It's it's on its way, hopefully very soon. But I love them. Check them out if you have not tried Alien Cosmetics. They're very like mysterious, kind of gothic, dark. Uh, brand and I'm here for it. There's also a new release from CZ Cosmetics. I haven't tried them. I've seen a lot of cute stuff from them. I've seen some videos on them, but they're coming out with the dessert collection. It's four little quad eyeshadow palettes. They look so cute. They look so adorable. There's like a greeny one, a yellow one, a pinky one, and a blue one. They're $12 each, which is quite affordable. I'm sure you could buy them in a set. I don't think it's available yet, but that is really cute. I guess I'm a sucker for food theme packaging and it just looks so adorable. I don't think I'll pick up any of these. I don't feel like it really goes dark enough for my liking and they all have like a very light, either pinky light or pinky beige shade in them. I will probably pass on this, but I'll definitely watch reviews because I think the packaging is adorable. <laughs> Oh, what else? Am I missing anything? I wanted to make sure I mentioned everything that... Oh, oh, Ace Beauté. They came out with a new palette called Falling For You. It's available now. It looks like a basic palette. Like, not a color story that I really gravitate towards, but it is a neutral palette with some pops of warm, some pops of pinks, like mauve shades. It's cute. I like the whole fall theme and the, the packaging. Now I did hear that Ace Beauté um, reformulated their eyeshadow formula, which I'm very excited about because I have some eyeshadow palettes that I've held onto just because of the packaging and the color story. Like the color stories are bomb in their palettes, but I was never really a fan of the eyeshadow formula. The mattes were very sheer, they weren't very buildable or easy to blend with one another, and the metallics too were pretty lackluster, so I'm curious about the reformulated shadows, and they did come out with all the palettes that I have in the new formula. So I'm thinking about picking up those palettes and seeing if there's a difference, because if there is and they're better, I'll be so happy, because I love the color stories in all of those palettes. So yes, it's like... I think it was called the Blossom Collection, the Paradise Collection, something like that. Oh my god, the color stories were gorgeous in all of those. So if you're interested in seeing a video of me comparing the old formula to the new formula, let me know. I definitely could do a video on that. I probably will end up doing a video on that. But I am excited to see that. Also, let's see, Flower Beauty came out with a new eyeshadow palette called the Forbidden Fruit Eyeshadow Palette. Hmm, this looks like more of like a spring kind of summer palette, but maybe their production of this got delayed and that's why they're coming out with it now. It looks cute. It's like a pinky, burgundy palette. It's cute. I like the packaging. I'm a sucker for fruit packaging. I don't think I'll pick this up, but it is $15 and it is available now. And then I wanted to mention Nomad Cosmetics is coming out with a new eyeshadow palette. They haven't released like the picture of it yet, but it's supposed to come out September 21st. They've sneak peeked some of the shadows because on their website they like to do like clues and people can guess what destination or place that this is based off of. They are a like travel destination themed brand, so all their palettes are inspired by places that they've been to. So this looks cute. And the little promo video that they did for it looks so like spooky and mysterious. I love when brands come out with holiday like for Halloween palettes and not just like the standard holidays. I like that brands are expanding to 
the other holidays. So I'm excited. I would definitely pick that up. I can't wait to see them do the full reveal because I just love Nomad Cosmetics. I think they're a great brand, great customer service. I love the packaging. Their eyeshadow is not my most favorite um, shadow when it comes to mattes, but they are workable and buildable and the shimmers are always stunning on all the palettes and I just love them. So I will pick that up. And then the last thing I wanted to mention was Blend Bunny Cosmetics. They're coming out with the Surge palette. Looks like it's a 30 shade palette, so it's a big one. And it doesn't have any pricing or anything. I don't know when it will be available. But the shades that they've shown in the palette so far are stunning. There's a bunch of deep, colorful mattes, some jewel tones, some grunge. Whew, that's sucking me in. I love those kind of shades. I'm curious to see what the other ones will be. But from the shades that they did release, they look gorgeous. I'll have to wait to see all the shades revealed to determine whether I want to pick it up. I've never tried Blend Bunny Cosmetics before. If you guys have, let me know how they are. But if the shadows that haven't been shown yet do intrigue me and I like them, I may end up getting this palette and trying out the brand. That was all the newest releases that I wanted to talk about. The ones that really stood out to me that seemed intriguing. I can't talk about all the makeup releases or we'd be here for a million years. It's impossible to do that. But I just wanted to highlight some of the ones that I thought were interesting. But please let me know in the comments below if you agree, disagree with my thoughts on the releases or are there any releases that you find intriguing that I didn't mention. I would love to hear from all of y'all and if you're new here and you enjoy this video and you like makeup, fashion, and all that fun stuff, then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family we have here. And don't forget to check out the description below. I'll have all the releases that I mentioned linked where you can find them when the launch dates are so all the information will be down below. I will also have other videos of mine you might be interested in as well as the makeup I'm wearing on my face. I'm actually wearing the little palette here. I don't think it's called Smoke Show anymore. This is from ColourPop but they're a little monochromatic gray palette on my eyes but that will be all linked below as well as my contact information. You can also find me on Instagram as Breezy Lifestyle and Breezy underscore Beauty if you want to check me out over there. I would really really love that but thank you guys so much for being here for watching for supporting my channel i really appreciate it and i just hope you are doing well wherever you are in the world and just sending you love and light but until next time bye guys